Hey everyone, Victor here from Mapster, just going to go over another feature in the Pro version of our plugin. That's our store locator, our kind of advanced store locator. In the free plugin, we have the uh, list um, thing, which is kind of like list control, which is kind of like a basic store locator, but you know, a lot of times you want to build something that looks a little nicer, or you, you can at least style more, has some more functionality, that kind of thing. Um, so we have one of those built out now. Um, before I get too deep into this, if there is another type of store locator you're looking to emulate, you'd like to do with uh, Mapbox or with the plugin, just get in touch with us. We'll probably be able to add some new styling. Uh, this was kind of a custom build for a client that we then added into the uh, locator or into the plugin. So uh, let's go over it. So one of the first things we got to do is we got to head to our settings once we install um, our, our Pro plugin and make sure that store locator is turned on. That just makes sure everything gets loaded in the front end uh, properly for you. Um, then we're going to head over to locations. We're going to make some locations that have to do uh, that, that are going to be our stores. So those are going to be points. You know, you probably don't have lines or polygons as your locations. Um, you can still add them on the map, but they aren't they aren't found or listed as uh, your store locations. So in this case, I just have a whole bunch of test ones, so they're just randomly named and stuff like that. But if we just hop into the, one of them and take a look, you can see uh, it's in Vancouver here, and I just have it as a default marker or whatever. Um, and we're just going to go right down a little further to where we have additional details. So this is very specific to the store locator, so you'll want to turn this on. You can add an address for the store, a uh, phone number for the store, as well as uh, the hours uh, you know that you're open, closed, whatever. You can change this as uh, the year progresses, that sort of thing. Uh, and these are time fields and you just select closed or, or not. You can also add social media. It'll only show the ones you add. I have them all just for testing purposes, but um, there you go. Feel free to add your links. And then uh, you can add a little bit of description that will show up when someone clicks on that particular store. So uh, before we get a little further in, uh, we're just gonna take a quick look at the store locator. So this is just an example of it. Um, so we just have on the left hand side our list here and we click on our location and it'll move up to us. We can click back and it'll move back. Um, you can move around uh, and go back and forth and we can get directions. It says when it's open till. Uh, we have hours of operation. There's a couple options for how we're going to display this. You can see this one's showing today and tomorrow and then days afterwards and it is uh, uh, Wednesday, so that makes sense today, tomorrow will be Thursday, and then Friday. Um, and yeah, we have directions and phone, and this is just a telephone link, so in a mobile, this will open up right away. And uh, all, the, all that good stuff, um, we have titles. And uh, on our original point here, we have, there's the little description we added uh, down here at the bottom. We added that, and it shows up here. Um, and we also have an image that shows up, so I'll show you a bit more about that. So one thing we have to do if we want to enable clicking in this is, uh, where are we? Uh, here we are. We, like, if we want someone to be able to click on the location and uh, have an image and some other things show up, um, as well as a little pop-up to pop up if you want, you'll have to enable pop-up. Otherwise, the clicking on a location won't work. So for instance, um, if I go back here, uh, if I go and click on this, it won't go anywhere because I haven't enabled pop-ups on this. Uh, whereas on this one, you can see it it, uh, it does work when I click on it because I have pop-ups enabled. So to go back here, uh, I've enabled the pop-up, added the click, and I've added a featured image. Now, it's a little bit, little bit clunky because we're kind of trying to squeeze this feature in. Uh, it's not one of the primary features. There's, there are great store locator plugins out there, but if you do want to use what we're building here to do it, um, you will have to turn on the pop-up, and this image will be the image rather than like the pop-up image, or actually it'll be both. It'll take that same image and, and have it here. Or if you make it a gallery um, by selecting gallery, and so it'll be like a slideshow, the slideshow will be here. So you can have both of them. And so we didn't want to rebuild it just for the store locator. So we use the same logic um, and move it into here instead. Um, otherwise, all pretty straightforward. You can play around. Uh, one of the things that we should go over is in the map itself, some of the settings that's available for the store locator. If we go, it's located in filter and list. 
go down to list and then there's a special store locator one and you enable it and then uh, the one option here that's important is you can sort hours by day so um, there's actually a few more uh, over here but uh, these are all more for the list itself you can sort them by distance uh, it'll show how much distance there is you can experiment with those in the normal list but sorting hours by day basically will change what I was talking about with whether it's today, tomorrow. If not, it'll just start, I believe, with Sunday. Let's try it out. See what happens when I flick that off. We'll update it. Move it over here. Reload. And see what it sorts them as. I think it's from Sunday. Um, yeah, Sunday through to Saturday. So uh, that's how it'll sort it without it sorting by the current day. Uh, so that's basically the store locator. Um, you can see in this case I've made it like a full width So I did that by going over here to setup and selecting the full page ignoring a container um, So that kind of makes this whole thing go all the way across the page and to be the full height uh, And that's just because I want it. You know, that's kind of a common way people might do store locators So that's the store locator as I said, it is a little bit basic We didn't build this out to be the absolute center of the plugin. There are some other plugins that do that uh, But we're happy to add more So if you like the plugin you want to see some more features on this or you want to see it a little bit easier to use If you're using it and having any trouble always get in touch with us and we're happy to uh, to do some more work. Thanks very much